quotation from the offertory in today's Eucharist. Quote, by the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. End quote. The prayer to sit in silence while music is performed. However, you are able to read the prayer in your misalette. Think of the meaning wine, a precious, costly gift. Wine represents Jesus, who is true God. Water, readily available from sky or ground. Water is common, not costly. Billions of gallons of milk flow in the Mississippi. Water is a symbol of humanity. Humanity is flawed and error prone, but capable through a unique act of the will to love. To love. The prayer begins by the mystery. Mystery means what follows this complex, to explain complex, the verb humble is used. Jesus, second person of the Trinity, humbled himself to take on a new nature, human nature, born of a virgin. Wow. Let's begin the prayer, said the while pouring to liquids. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. End of quote. Robert Conner, Pastor St. Mary's for 41 years, was my hero mentor. During grade school, high school, college, four years of theology, two years of priesthood. To old timers, he was Father Time. To Ed Croner, he was Dr. Time. To my classmates, he was simply Monsignor. Monsignor Conan was bigger than life in physique and in personality. Dr. Condon preached a theology not heard in six other Catholic pulpits in town. Sermons on Monday morning, evening devotions were on Wednesday night with litany, sermon benediction. We attended many funerals during our grade school years. So many times I heard Quote, eye has not seen, ear has not heard, what marvelous God has prepared for those who love him. End of quote. First Corinthians. And then from Augustine's Confessions. The heart of man and woman is restless until it rests in God. End quote.
As the church started to decline, he told of the dark side of the church and why the ages were dark. Corrupt monasteries, convents in disarray, unworthy priests and bishops, weak popes, parishes with pervasive promiscuity, sin, issues of funds, nemesis, greed, contributors. Then one senior would say, Why did not God send angels? Why did not send angels to nuns, abbot, brother, priest, husband, wife, bishop, pope? Why not angels? Rather than flawed, feeble humans, why not angels? In the 10th century, God then sent Benedict the Abbot's elder card women to select worthy bishops. St. Bernard of Clairvaux to establish strict monasteries. Their crusades were good news, bad news. Divine. Pope Pascal, for an encyclical on mystical 
body of Christ. This gave me new insight into the meaning of water and wine. Jesus, true God, with a billion saints and sinners, are his arms and torso. The wheat of the weeds of which Jesus spoke. We are the mystical, as a mystery, members of arms, legs, feet, hands, stomach. Jesus is the head. Jesus is the insurance policy against natural error. The Holy Spirit guarantees the sacraments work. Augustinian Mother Martin was a supply ammunition to Monsignor County to blast him unmercifully until the windows shook in our church. Bloody Henry VIII executing a litany of wives because the Vatican would not give a dispensation, had no right to make himself head of the English church. Nor Luther to start a new church rather than the old church which needed reforming on indulgence. The renegades failed to understand the founder of the real church was the army. The 18th century enlightenment and 20th century gave one senior chance to talk about the glory of science. Meta Fure, pioneer and expert. Monk Gregor Mandel on heredity. Great, Jes great Jesuit universities who granted Bob Condon a bachelor's and triple doctor. We learned the Spanish and Mason's Bible and the French tree of the food. The little flowers, our FSPA sisters, coordinated with our pastor, bringing us to Reese's, the little way of holiness, on the last hour of class, Friday afternoon. Monsignor never avoided the injustice of the Inquisition, explaining the heirs has no rights, but individuals have rights, their conscience. That's the mystic theology, Catholic teaching. Galileo Galilei was a genius, reaffirming what monk Copernicus discovered one century earlier. Quote, Monsignor Cameron. The Bible tells us how to go to heaven, not how the heavens go. Monsignor said, Curious advisors should have looked through Galileo's telescope, not Joshua's episode where the sun stood still. That was a figure of speech, not to be taken literally. The Bible is not a book of science, rather it is a book of theology. The house of the rest of Galileo was a mistake, but the astronomer never missed Sunday Mass. His daughter Robert, his daughter became a nun, and a distinguished doctor of pharmacy. The Galileans knew the church was divine, and some churchmen dumb. When Pius XII wrote that evolution could be taught in Catholic schools, Monsignor said, Bravo! St. Paul to the Philippines explains the water and wine and the offertory prayer and the mystical body and cyclical in this language. Close them all together. Quote, Christ Jesus Though he was in the form of God, did not call equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself, taking the form of servant, being poor in the likeness of men. End of quote. Today, world population is seven and a half million. Non believers, believers, believers in married faith. This is a Christian Catholic. The institutional church today is divided. Only at the general judgment we, know, we will know how that attribute of divinity 
Building the stone. 